Hey guys, hope you're all doing just fine today, but I want to uh, throw out a, a yoga Kripalu flow that is great for the shoulders, for stability and adding some mobility to them and uh, just making yourself strong in that area. So make sure that you have a, your blocks in case you need those, uh, possibly a blanket and definitely a strap because you may need that for the end of our little session. All right, so let's hit the mat. So come on down into a table position, okay? And we're gonna begin doing a little cow and cat. So we'll spread those fingers nice and wide. Let's work external rotation in our shoulders, okay? And then from there, we'll begin to do our cow and cat. But let's do side profile for you guys. Make sure you're not, you know, shrugging shoulders up towards your ears, okay? So we're gonna let that tailbone lift, the belly drops, put a little bit on the elbows, but when you reach the peak of inhalation, Straighten those arms and deep pressure the legs down your back and you're in your cow. When we exhale, bend the elbows, tucking on the pubic bone, push the ground away in your cat stretch. Repeating, cow. And exhale, cat. Let's get some nice flexion moving and extension to our spine. Let's do one more, okay? Good, then we're gonna work on a little hovering, threading of the needle, okay? So we're gonna drop weight on our right hand. Everyone, inhale, sweep the left arm up, pause for a moment, open up that left arm, push the ground away, open your left pec, look up if you can. And then as we exhale, we're gonna thread that left arm under the right arm, but hover that left arm off the ground a couple of inches. You may bend your right elbow and even get your head close to the ground too. And then inhale, come straight back up, and exhale, thread and hover. Again, inhale up. Exhale, thread and hover. Inhale up. Exhale, thread and hover. We'll do that one more time, okay? Inhale up. And this time when we exhale, we're gonna thread all the way through. Bring the left arm down the ground, the shoulder, the side of your head. Maybe open the thighs a little wider, drop the glutes back more. Either keep that Right hand by your head to support the head, or walk your right fingers forward, soaking your fingertips into the earth, rotating the eye and the elbow up towards the ceiling, or external rotation in your shoulder, even deep pressing shoulder blade down your back, holding here, or feel free to even extend the right arm up towards the ceiling, and then go half down arm. That's gonna help stabilize your rotator cuff muscles. So do what's best for you. Great. Then we're gonna slowly inhale, come all the way back up. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, okay? So we're dropping weight on that left hand, and then we'll inhale, sweep the right arm up, pause for a moment, open up that right pec, push the ground away, and as we exhale, we thread and hover. Inhale up, exhale, thread and hover. Inhale up. Exhale, thread hover. We've got two more guys. Up. Thread hover. This time we'll come up. We thread through. We come all the way down on that right arm. The shoulder to the side of the head. Do whatever feels best for you. With that left arm, where do you place it? But stay active in your right fingers. Reach those right fingers towards the wall. Breathe. Good, then slowly inhale, come all the way back up the table. Let's tuck under those toes, act on rotation shoulders, you rotate the eyes of the elbows forward, and then exhale back to downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal the feet a little bit. Notice that the eyes of the elbows want to point towards each other and your elbows want to point out to the sides. That's inviting more internal rotation, which means more pinching the shoulders up near the neck, and that's compression. So you wanna try and roll the eyes and the elbows up towards the ceiling, and then depress your shoulders down your back so you create a lot of space within the neck and then the shoulder girdle. Okay, we're gonna come out here, so if you need to modify, kind of table, bring your left foot forward, or lift the left leg up in the air, so you like a dog, and then step forward, left foot. Then step the right foot forward, next to left foot, 
Square up the feet, soak those feet to the ground, inhale, rise. Arms up overhead, and hands to heart center. And we'll rock and roll. Inhale, arms up. Pause here, or do a little back when it feels comfortable. We come up, and we're going to fold. Inhale up halfway. Fold back in, and then we're going to step back with the right foot. We'll do the side profile here. Right foot back into that runner stretch. Push the ground away. Deep pressure will lift down your back. And we'll inhale, we'll bend right knee, but don't touch the earth. And exhale, press to the heel. Do that four more times. Dip thing as you inhale. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Extend. One more time. Good. Now, we're going to end up twisting left, okay? So I'll flip around. Boom, boom. You're going to drop weight onto that right hand, and then we'll inhale. And exhale, twist left. Left arm up. If your left shoulder is really bothering you, bend your elbow, have the hand on the hip, or you can just put the arm on half out arm if you need to, okay? Stay there, or we'll inhale, and as we exhale, we're going to backstroke that left arm. Inhale, we go up. Exhale, back stroke. Keep it going. Up. Back stroke. We'll do it two more times. Good. On the last one, we'll back stroke. We come through. Left hand back down to the earth or on your block, and we're going to step back to our plank pose. Boom. Okay. Hold for just a sec. Get these out of the way. Breathing in and out. Deep pressure the waist down. Push the ground away. Press through the heels. Activate those hamstrings. Good. And we're going to come all the way down onto the belt. We're going to work into a little baby cobra. Okay? So bring your feet close together. Press them down. Push your thigh bones and pelvis down. Hands under the shoulders. Hug the elbows in. Shrug your shoulder blades down the back. And it touches the earth. And as we inhale, we're going to lift up to that baby cobra. So the head, torso lifts a little bit. Pause. Then lift your hands. Work the shoulder blades together and go down your back. Stabilizing the shoulder girdle. Exhale, release down. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, baby cobra. Lift the hands. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Slowly come down. One more time, guys. Press the pubic down, down. Inhale, up. Get the head, torso. Lift your hands. Keep your feet down. Shoulder blades down your back. Squeeze them together. Maybe lift a little higher. And then release. Bring the hands under the head. Turn your head to the side. Bend those knees. Windshield wiper your legs. Awesome, we're going to work back to our down dog, so you can extend those legs back. Feel free to go through table, maybe do cobra, up dog, or a little extra work. A little pointed toe plank, and then we roll back to downward facing dog. You can walk feet in a couple of inches to re-clarify your foundation. You pedal. And we'll transition out, okay? So we're going to lift that right leg up in the air. Or again, if you need to modify, come down a table and then step the right foot forward. Make sure that right knee is not going past your ankle. I'm going to flip around again. Boom. All right. And then we'll inhale. We're going to bend that left knee. And then exhale, press to the heel. Again, we'll bend. Exhale. Extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. We'll do that two more times. Last one. Good. Then we're really strong in that back leg, okay? If your left thigh bone pressing towards the ceiling, drop it on your left hand, and then inhale, exhale, we twist right. Reach for the ceiling or modify if you need to place that right hand on your hip or half bound arm. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we'll backstroke. Inhale up. 
Exhale, backstroke. Do three more. Last one. Bring that right hand to the block of the earth. Drop weight on that right foot. Inhale when you exhale. Step forward. Left foot. Frame up with you guys again. Inhale up halfway. Fold back in. Soak the feet into the earth. Rise up. A little back bend lengthen. We're up. And then bring hands. Whew, heart center. Okay, if you have a block, you might want to grab a block and place it between your thighs. And we go with a shorter vertical there between the thighs. Just a little bit of activation for the quadriceps, but also this helps keep our hips a little more in alignment, okay? Because we're going to do a little external internal rotation movement with our arms and at the shoulder to help strengthen them, but also add stability to them. So this is just going to be a little reminder to keep your hips square so you're not twisting from the hips. And we'll even make sure that we're going to use the left hand to begin so we don't twist from the torso either. All the movement will come from the shoulder joint, okay? So from here, what I want you guys to do, feet are square. Squeeze your block if you have it. And then you're going to take your left hand right up around that upper right pec near the armpit, right? And press it in there. Let this help you, remind you, so when you're doing these arm circles, you're not turning your whole torso. If you begin to turn the torso, make sure that you keep squaring your chest up and only rotate from the shoulder. So here what I want you to do now is take that right arm, right palm forward, so that's working external rotation in your shoulder, okay? And then make sure you're feeling your belly and ribs push towards the back of the body. And then you're gonna inhale, you're gonna lift up that right arm. So we're in external rotation. And then we're gonna to go to internal. So then we'll turn the thumb forward. So that's internal rotation. Keep your chest square and then backstroke it here. Okay? And then do that again. Go external, inhaling up. Go to internal. And then just move from the shoulder joint. Don't twist from the spine, okay? Or from the chest. Do that three more times at your own pace. But really work it here. Take your time. Work an external rotation through your bicep, rolling out, right? And we go to internal. Last one. And now I want you to hold here, actually, okay? On our last one. Take that left hand up to your bicep and tricep and roll it away from your head. So you're working that external rotation, okay? Now keep trying to roll that bicep out on its own to release that left hand. Maybe take your left hand towards your armpit and pull that armpit down and keep trying to roll your thumb away from you, okay? And then maybe release that left arm. Keep rolling out, hold for a sec, squeeze your block, zip your core. And slowly exhale, release. Roll the shoulder, shake it off if you need to. And we're going right to the other side, okay? External rotation with the left arm. Right hand up on that upper left pec here. Square your shoulders, square your hips, and then inhale. Left arm up, external rotation. Internal, don't move from the torso. Keep yourself square. Keep going four more times. And on your last one, you're going to hold, okay, in that external rotation. This last one here, you're going to hold. So keep yourself square. Maybe take your right hand to that bicep. Roll the bicep away from you. Roll your left thumb away and out. Then maybe slide that armpit down. Try and keep rolling it out on its own. Maybe release that right arm. Stand tall. Belly ribs push back. Keep working that left shoulder down. Deep breath in. 
and then exhale, release. Shake it off, remove the block. Nice work, everybody. And then feet soak down, inhale, arms up, back bend, lengthen, rise, fold. Inhale up halfway, fold back in, and then we're going to step back with our left foot. And again, I'm going to go side profile here, okay? So the left foot's going to come back. And then I want you to anchor that left foot down about 35, 45 degrees. Make sure that this right heel lines up with the arch of the left foot. And we're all going to peel up into Warrior Two, okay? When we get into Warrior Two, make sure the right knee's going the same direction as your toes and your knee's not going past your ankle. Really pushing the back side of your left foot and feel your left thigh bone push towards the back wall behind you. We're going to drop the tailbone, tuck under the pubic bone, but notice when you do that, does the right knee want to drop in? Keep that right knee pointing the same direction as your toes, even as you're tucking and lifting up out of the pelvis. Belly nerves push back, arms come up, shoulder blades down your back. Okay? Good job. Now don't lean forward here, okay? Keep your Spine right in alignment with your pelvis. We'll do a little internal external rotation here, okay? So we're in internal right now. Take a deep breath in. And now when we exhale, go palms face up. That's external. Internal. And try and turn your thumbs down and around the back. Good, and then exhale. External. Again, internal. Thumbs down and around. External. Again, internal. And external. Good. Hold it here. Depress shoulder blades down your back. Zip your core. Keep the external rotation. Deep breath in. As we exhale, bring that right forearm on your thigh. Keep working external rotation in that left arm. Sweep that left arm up. Frame your head. Come right into side angle. Don't put all your weight on that right arm, okay? Make sure that right knee is still pointing the same direction as your toes. Feel that left shoulder blade go down your back. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale. And then inhale. Let's slowly begin to straighten the right leg. We're sliding that right arm down to come into triangle. Okay? And then maybe even for a moment here, take that left hand down on your hip. Feel your left hip push back. And then feel your right hip push forward. Okay? Forward with the front, back with the back hip. Okay? And then if you want to, go half bound arm and stay here to stabilize the rotator cuff muscles. Or extend that left arm back up. Keep working external rotation in the shoulder too. And breathe. Good. We'll inhale, come back up. Warrior two. And as we exhale, we're going to windmill out, runner stretch, and then step back into plank. Pause and plank. Push the ground away. Broaden your back. So don't squeeze your shoulder blades together. Actually, separate them. And depress your shoulder blades down your back. Awesome. Then slowly come all the way down onto your belly. And then we're going to work into a little downward facing boat. Okay, and if you, you may need a strap here, so have it close by just in case. But what we're going to do here, guys, is the feet are going to stay in contact with the ground. Same thing with the thigh bones and our pelvis. Your arms are going to go alongside your body, palms down. Forehead's going to touch the earth. Really press the pelvis down. And then when we inhale, lift your head, your torso, and arms. And reach your fingertips back. Work your shoulder blades together. Keep your feet down. So we're really working the muscles of the back. Upper back. Mid and lower. Then slowly exhale, release down. Pause for a moment. And 
And we'll do that again. Pelvis down. Feet down. Inhale. We lift up. Work your shoulder blades down together. Reach your fingers back. Tuck your chin. And then exhale, release. We've got one more to go, guys. And this time, if you need your strap, grab your strap, put it at the lower back, and then take a hold of the strap with your hands and separate your hands a little bit. If you don't need your strap, you're going to interlace your fingers, okay? Knuckles at the lower back. Feet pressed down, pelvis down, inhale, exhale, press down, inhale, lift the torso, up, head up, and then extend the arms back. Shoulder blades work together. And release. Bring the hands into the head. Turn your head to the opposite side you did look last time. Make sure you wipe your legs. Good. Extend those legs back. And when you're ready, find your way back to downward facing dog. Maybe adding in a little twisted dog. That feels good. Relax the obliques. And then we're gonna prepare to come out, okay? So we're either modifying and bring your left foot forward from table, or lift the left leg up in the air. Three-legged dog. And then step forward. I'm gonna flip around again. And we're gonna work up to warrior two, guys. So bring that right foot down, 35, 45 degrees. Zip up, come on up. If you need to for a moment, hands can come on the hips and get your alignment right. Left knee, point the same direction our toes, okay? Knees above the ankle, a little bit behind. Back side of my right foot's pushing the ground. That right thigh bone's pushing back, tucking under the pubic bone. Belly and ribs are pushing back. Arms can come up here. Okay, and that's internal rotation right away. The palms down. Inhale, when we exhale, palms up. External rotation. Yeah, that external rotation, okay? And then inhale, internal. Exhale, external. Do that again, internal. External. Again, internal. And then external, hold an external, and let's bring that left arm on our thigh, coming into our side angle. Framing our head then with that right arm, work an external rotation there. Don't put all your weight on that left leg. Rotating from the torso up towards the ceiling, really pressing the backside of that right foot. Work that right shoulder leg down your back. Great, everyone. And then from here, we're gonna work right to triangle. So inhale, slowly get to straighten that left leg, we're coming in a triangle. Remember, if you need to modify, right hand on the hip, half bound arm, and everybody make sure that this back right hip is pushing towards the back of the body while the left front hip's pushing forward, okay? Really press that big mound of that left toe into the earth. Reach. We're reaching through those right fingers, but still depressing that right shoulder blade down. Last breath here. Good, and then we inhale, up into warrior two, and then we windmill out. Runner stretch, we step forward, inhaling up halfway. Fold back in, rise up, a little back bend lengthen, up, and hands to heart center. Relax for a sec, and then we're gonna find our way down onto the ground, okay? And make sure if you need to, to sit up on a block or blanket, do it. Have a strap close by too, you might need that. And we're gonna go to our cow facing pose. So let's take the left leg under the right leg, okay? And then the right leg's gonna lift up and go over. 
And we're gonna work under the top or the side of that right foot, bringing the knees close together. Now, if this hurts your left knee, okay, extend the left leg out like this, have the foot active. If it's still too much for you, maybe you go cross ankles, okay? Also, if you find that your right foot is lifted up off the ground, maybe you put a prop underneath the foot to bring the round up to you. So if you need your strap, grab your strap, and that's gonna go in your left hand, okay? And then we're gonna go both arms out to external rotation, palms facing up. Okay, keep the left arm externally rotated, but go internal rotation with the right arm. Left arm comes up and goes behind the back, work that left forearm behind the head. Bring the right arm under and up the back, and then bring your hands as close together as you can get them, okay? If you can interlace your fingers, it's totally fine. Press your head back into that forearm and then work your shoulders down and towards each other. Press your ribs and belly towards the back of your body. And then gently pull down with that right hand. Stretch out that tricep. Breathe. Good. Deep breath in. And then as we exhale, let's release the arms, okay? And then I want you to place that right hand on the ground or on a block out to the right side. Really feel your left glute push down, work external rotation in this left arm, and slowly walk your right hand over to the right, lift up with that left arm, frame your head, and we're going for a little lateral dip. Feel free to look forward, look down, Look up, but keep working that external rotation, right? Roll the thumb away and out from you. And keep working your left shoulder weight down your back too. Great. Inhale, bring it up. And let's lift up that right arm, work both arms external rotation, and then we come forward into our forward fold. If this bothers your knees, extend both legs out, okay? Hands down on the ground, tuck the chin slightly, and release. You can always grab an extra block and put it underneath the forehead if needed, okay? Nice, everyone. Then we'll slowly inhale. We'll come on up. Let's bring the bottom of that right foot in contact with the ground. Right knee's pointing towards the ceiling. If you have an extra block, put it right behind that right glute and hip. Take that left arm, hug that right knee towards that left armpit, lift your sternum. Inhale and as we exhale, boom, we twist right. Right hand can go on the block, but keep a micro bend in your elbow. Press that humerus bone back. Soft gaze to the right or close your eyes. Last breath here. And then slowly release out. Release the legs and we'll change sides, okay? Right leg under, left leg over. Modify if you need to with the legs. You need to strap. The strap's going into your right hand this time. External rotation in that right arm, internal with the left arm, right arm up, down the back, left arm under, up the back, work the hands as close together as you can, press your head back into that right forearm, shoulder blades down and towards each other, belly and ribs push back, and then just pull down gently with that left hand. Breathe. You definitely want to press your head back into that forearm so you're going to strengthen your neck here, okay? And keep working the shoulder blades down so you stabilize the shoulder girdle. Great job. Deep breath in. And then exhale, we'll release. Okay. Keep external rotation in that right arm. Drop your left hand down on the ground or on a block. Begin to walk over with those left fingers. Press your right glute down. Lift the right arm up. Frame your head. 
little lateral dip, keep working external rotation in that right shoulder. Work the right shoulder will be down your back. You can look up, down, or forward. Go as far over as you can. Some of us may even come onto our form on the ground or even on a block. Good. Slowly come up. Both arms up in external rotation. And then come forward. Keep working your shoulder blades down your back too, guys. Okay? You can see you're not doing it. Just kidding. Tuck the chin slightly. Great. Wonderful. Then we'll slowly inhale up. We'll bring the bottom of that left foot in contact with the ground, left knee's pointing towards the ceiling. If you need your block, put it on the outside of that left hip glute. Hug that left knee with the right arm towards the right armpit, lift your sternum, and boom, twist left. Little micro bend in that left elbow. Press that left arm, bone back. Soft gaze to the left or close your eyes. Make sure the bottom of that left foot's touching the ground. Last breath. And then slowly release out. Release your legs and come on to your back for Shavasana. Stay there for a couple minutes, guys. Take in the release, the recovery. Uh, it's important. And then afterwards, make sure you hydrate and refuel your body. And keep a positive attitude through all of these troubling times. And always remember, I'm here for you. Reach out to me anytime you need any information, assistance, or just, you know, I can be your sounding board if you need just to talk. Okay? Guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. We'll see you soon. Namaste.